course. New at 10, there was another local signing event today, but this time it wasn't for athletes. It was for Tri-State students planning to head into the workforce. Let's check in with WGEM's Claire Adlin, who is back from the event. Claire? Daniel and Raja, this was part of a multi-partnership -part deal with students making a pledge to their soon-to-be employers at the annual career launch signing day. And the students told me they are ready for the next step. I believe in a willingness to do whatever it takes to get the job done. I believe that I should do my job with enthusiasm, regardless of how mundane or unpleasant the task may be. It's the start of a new journey as these six students embark on their careers. Celebrating the successes that you each had. Uh, you've got uh, some great employers to be working for. Managers from Blessing, QMG, and Leaser Trucking stand by their new employees as they sign their promises. Sign their pledges and hear about their hopes and dreams coming true. The career launch signing is that and more. These soon-to-be employees will get a certificate today signifying their commitment to be good employees. And it's a way to help the local workforce as employers find their best fit. Riley will be working as a substitute teacher at the Pittsfield location where she will work with children six weeks to five years old. John Wood student Riley Martin makes her own pact. So right now I am a substitute out at Pact Head Start and I love it as every day is different. It is upbeat and high energy. Martin's employer says this partnership is a huge benefit for the nonprofit. Um, it's very hard in our rural communities to find qualified staff, especially teaching staff. So being able to have students who are really getting that real world experience in our classrooms and at our job sites also helps us as employers to see how they're going to be as employees in the workforce. The Career Launch Signing is hosted by the Adams County Career Guidance Team and in partnership with John Wood Community College and Quincy Area Vocational Technical Center. Daniel? All right, thank you very much, Claire. And the Adams County Career Guidance Team is made up of members from several local agencies, including the Great River Economic Development Foundation, the Workforce Innovation Board of Western Illinois, and more.